well, this is different. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have a look at the brand new Talisker Sky 45.8 ABV and well no age statement on it and it is said that this one should be well uh, the, the successor of the 10 year old Talisker. Hopefully not because I'm a, a fan I'm fond of the 10 year old Talisker and this one does not carry an age statement and on the back it's written well with color. Uh, what's the specialty of this Talisker? Well, it uses rejuvenated oak casks. So freshly refurbished casks uh, where they have burned the inside of the casks anew. So this brings a lot of more uh, vanilla and coconut and caramel uh, from the conversion of fresh wood in the staves of the cask. Um, there are several other Talisker without an age statement on it. Talisker Storm, Dark Storm, um, the Pottery, written Pot um, the 175 anniversary bottle, the 57 North. There are a lot of whiskies from Talisker without an age statement, so they knew how to produce whiskies without an age statement. And uh, there are also older whiskies, uh, 18 years old from Talisker, uh, but the amount of whiskies coming out of this distillery, uh, aged whiskies, is quite small. So I think uh, this very intense and typically spicy and sharp peppery chili catch uh, whiskey uh, is high in the uh, in the world of connoisseurs so this one as a uh, new one without an age statement will also fit uh, to the taste of the or the preferences of the connoisseurs I got one sample from whiskey fair and uh, so I do not have to open the full bottle. Thank you for that. <clears throat> so 45.8% ABV as always with Talisker. And now I have a first nose. Well, this is different. The smokiness is not that strong. And there is some, well, what's that? It's earthiness. It's like the aroma in a Dunnage warehouse where you have the, the soft floor, uh, the wet soft floor and the, well, the alcohol fumes or vapors, but vapors which uh, come out of the casks, this together, the earthiness and the whiskey from the cask. A light spiciness as well as oranges probably from the distillery character and it's said there is some other fruitiness some mango in the back but I'm, I'm afraid no I can't find that but I very rarely say that some saltiness remembrance of salt Ah, caramel, yeah, and vanilla, surprising me. So there's the full potpourri from smoke over cask, over distillery character, the fruitiness, so everything is in here. Mm -hmm. Spiciness together with sweetness. 
the oranges, juice oranges. And the spiciness from the oak. More sweetness. Honey. Probably. And the aftertaste is long and warming. And the spiciness is not that strong as it is in the 10 year old, or I remember of the 10 year old. And the smokiness is still there, but combining very good with the overall taste. Sweet spice, but really not that peppery, not that chili catch. Smoke. But not that strong as on the other islands. <laughs> so this one is a lighter version of the 10 year old, but it might be a good introduction to Taliske. Yeah, people not so used to those very intense and smoky and sharp whiskies, spicy whiskies, not from the alcohol. This whiskey might span a bridge to them. So this whiskey is more for the masses. No whiskey for the masses. After having uh, sipping two very small, having two very small sips, uh, it becomes more intense, and the overall feeling is more spicy, more talisker like But in the first impression, it's not as intense as the ten-year-old is. And probably there might be some youthness, whatever I feel there, covering my mouth. But I think it's a good one and you should give him a try or it a try. Him. It's strong. Male. More. <laughs> Thank you for watching Whiskey.com. There's more to come and feel free to give your comments to this bottle in our Whiskey database. <laughs>